we decided to come to Siem Reap. Only one hour away from Bangkok. It didn't cost much. It was like 100 something dollars. Yeah. But that's for both ways. And also you have to consider the visa cost, which is $30. And you can get visa on arrival and the procedure is quite simple. Just follow the directions. Make sure you have $30 in hand with you. If not, they have an ATM. But I would just prepare in advance. But well, so far, Cambodians have been really, really nice and polite. Kind of reminds me of Thai people. And the streets here are quite clean and the architecture is really interesting. There's no really, really tall buildings. The tallest structure here is still Angkor Wat, I think. All like really interesting lampposts that look European. And they have a street called Charles de Gaulle. Yeah, French colonialism. Yeah, I think that's that's it. Also, they use dollars, US dollars, so keep that in mind. And they also use their own currency, the real, but everyone accepts dollars. We're gonna go eat out and I'll show you around. shake as well. I think it's important to learn about the history of a place, which includes the good and the bad. And the Khmer Rouge was a significant part of Cambodian history, which was not even that long ago. And unfortunately, it's not really talked about much in the West. And I think we have a duty to know about such things because it teaches us a lot today about why a certain country or people are like the way they are now, how they overcome it and also teaches us how we can prevent such things from happening again. This memorial site had a lot of information and illustrations describing the way the Khmer Rouge would torture the prisoners physically and psychologically. And they had a, this pagoda outside, which was decorated with human skulls. And I wanted to be respectful and not show it on camera. But outside there were many monks and a temple and I believe they also live there, right by the memorial site. This burger was one dollar. It was like chicken. proper chicken burger. Yeah, it's like katsu chicken. And then this. Oh yeah, it's like katsu chicken. I'm not sure how much this was. Two fifty. Two fifty.
you you want to the game inside the gate I be the whole temple thing so I think uh, if you want to do the one day one just be prepared because you will be really tired after Then having to wake up at 4 a.m. it was pretty worth it because as you guys saw the sunrise was really really pretty something that you have to see at least once in your life if you have the means to 